<laughs> Welcome back to Master the Fun and Elder Scrolls Online. Today we're going to show you information about the Witches Festival event. And it starts 21 October, runs to 2nd of November, 10 a.m. start and finish as usual. So we'll talk about some of the missions. There's a new mission for a new boss. We'll show you that toward the second half of the video. A look at the impresario locations here. You can uh, pause and go back to have a better look. Barnfeld, Somerset, Northern Ellsworth, and Western Skyrim, and of course now in Blackwood, there to the east outside the city. So two tickets per day for 26 total tickets for this event. You'll get tickets and plunder skulls by defeating boss monsters. We'll go into the details of that. It's not as simple as that, at least for the Dromora uh, style pages. The new mission is Plucking the Crow, and it's available from the, uh, from the Witch Mother Tyrma, who's in the Olives Brewery. We'll also show you the location of the, the brewery, that cave, towards the end of the, uh, towards the second half of the video. And um, so basically you have to get 50 cursed feathers, which will be in the plunder skulls. So once you collect the 50 cursed feathers from the, that are dropped in the plunder skulls, then you'll be able to transform them into an effigy, which you can use to transport yourself into a special realm where you can battle a new boss monster. So that's pretty cool. Also, make a note that this quest giver for this mission will be at all impresario tents all over Tamriel, so that's pretty cool. You'll see. I'll show you a picture in a moment of that. Also, there's the marshmallow toasty treats, emotes, the witch's brew, etc. So there's the, uh, the image of the plateau. I mean, it's... I don't know. This is... <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's not a home. It's just a... It's just a, a, a horrible land, you know. Uh, I, what I should have done, I didn't do it for this video. I should have jumped into the lava to see if you burn. You know, the way sometimes you, there's certain things you can go like over fires or lava and you don't actually burn. Here, I should have tested it out to see if you burn. Oh, in like the island home, you can actually go into the lava and you won't burn there where the lava pl flows out of that uh, uh, mountain. So the plunder skulls, they have the, the pet fragments. You'll need 10 of those to get the pet. The Dromor and Holojack style items. The witches festival themed recipes, as in, you know, foods and drinks. And the themed furnishings and furnishing recipes. And what I'll show you in a moment now is the list for the bosses. Depending on the type of boss you get, uh, you know, the location and, and dungeon type, will drop different pages, Dromora pages. So here's the list and I'll put this list below the video because it's it's just too much to to you know to read during the uh, during the video but basically to give you an idea the final arena bosses drop the Dramora motif pages for bows and legs unfortunately if you want the sh swords and chests you know a major component you'll need to do a trial and actually get and defeat the final boss which I which is kind of lame because as many of you know, trials are just a pain in the pain in the arse as far as getting in a group, let alone a successful group, to actually get it done. So it's 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 been bad ever since Hero One. It's just been tough to get in in trial unless you're actually in a trial guild. You know they probably will be running those, but maybe you can talk in in chat. You know, uh, especially in Craglorn, they seem to be the number one places for finding trial groups. So here we'll have a look now. This is the, the cave, one of the caves that you can see on your map. But a little more south of this, you'll see the, the, uh, the wooden doors here for the event. These doors are here all year round. As you'll see in a moment, there they are. And this is the witch's event site where you'll be able to start the mission. The starting mission is free in the Crown Store, and it's called the Witch's Bargain. So you can go to events or holiday events, and you'll see the free mission there, like like for others. So you just take the mission, and it'll probably point you here. You go inside and talk to the witch. She'll give you the whistle. We'll show you the whistle in a moment. Here's the map location, 
As you can see there, we're in the northwest of Oradon. Along the coast in the upper northwest of Oradon. And um, it is south. It is south of the of the cave that should be marked on your map. If you've discovered it already. So if you just follow the coast, the map is a little bit deceiving. But if you follow the coast, it's just inward. You know, it's a little bit inward of the coast there, but it is south of the of the major cave, um, or delves, <laughs> and that's that's where it is. So you'll find your whistle to get the double XP for two hours. You find your whistle in the tools. If you go to mementos, you'll have to go to tools. It didn't used to be that way, but for some reason lately they've been putting the stuff in tools as far as the event mementos go. So you'll go to tools, you'll find your whistle. There it is. The Witch Mother's Whistle. You can... I think you can just double click it on the list, but you'll probably want it on your hotbar so you can hit it every two hours. You know, and all you need to do is blow the whistle. You don't need to drink from the cauldron that appears. The cauldron will turn you into this skeleton robed creature thing. You know, if you like that kind of thing. I don't. The cauldron turns you into a skeleton, but you don't need, you won't get the XP. The XP comes from the whistle. And if you press C on the bottom and scroll down on the bottom of the list on the right side of the, of the panel that appears, the, you know, the mini window for your abilities, you'll see it active, you know, how much time, unless you have it already active there, as you see on my bar, you'll have the long effects. And since I'm not during the, this is pre-event, it didn't show up there. You only see the food, my food timer. But it could show there under your, um, on, on your, um, timers. So that takes care of that. If you have any other questions, feel free to, you know, write comments, ask questions there. I do my best to answer them within 24 hours or as soon as possible. Hit the like and subscribe. Tell your friends, share it wherever you can. It's appreciated, it does help. And hope to all see you, you all soon again for the next event video or for music videos. I also have other guides for other games as well. And all kinds of fun stuff. So hope to all see you all hope to see you all again soon. And as always, have fun. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye, baby.